to capture the eggs, Your Highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. The holes came out on the other side of the Dragon World. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. To look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To quickly center the camera behind you, press the L1 or R1 button. You can look all around by holding the triangle button down. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, Dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Spyro, I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump, then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me.
I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Superfly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. If you like, I can change the game camera to active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. Your camera is now in active mode and will move faster. If you don't like it, come back and see me or change it yourself by using the options menu. for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface and charge underwater by holding down the square button.
was about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, and my portal just disappeared right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal will turn on again. My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape, if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being it's making me rich. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well i got to get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hiya, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Yeah, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more.
Okay, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. <laughs> Have this egg I found in my house. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. Oh my, oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor! Show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago.
Rhinoc is too big to charge. You'll have to flame him using the circle button. Each time a fairy zaps you like this, that means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Thanks for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. Hi, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master.
Hey, that was great! And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. All right, if you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Go get him, Spyro! was sweet. And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck!
Hey, Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. Alas, I have lost my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? sent you here? I've got a restraining order against him. Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say... 
Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? generator and I'll never see a rainbow again. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. armor those enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon flame. If you hold down the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon. The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. Ooh, yes, precious, precious gems. Uh, well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Remember, to get your longest glide, press the X button at the very top of your jump and use the triangle button to hover at the end of your jump. Ha! 
Oh, you activated the bellows? Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clock up the cloud generator. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. <laughs> this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it might be a dud, though. We 
usually wake up a rain cloud at the crack of dawn. But these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. Oh, <laughs> 
A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Look out, sheep! Here I come! Check it out! The squad leader had abducted this egg!
At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. <laughs> Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. Keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. <laughs> egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. You're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there.
Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. Spyro, I'm just off to the Tiki Lodge for some R and R. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together, and I'll make you an honorary member.
Take this egg as a sign of your honorary membership in the lodge. Well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine, and then they took it for a joyride, and, and then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuffed my friends in the jail behind you. want a quick summary of your progress in a world, you can press the select button to open the atlas page for the world you are in.
get more distance when gliding. Just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Spyro, some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoch fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoch in the morning.
Loki while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends! <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you, one of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Rhinox has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we have to spend a month in KP. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. <laughs> was worth all the trouble. egg for you, but we used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of Rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. <laughs> Surprisingly. 
extremely good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. Let's head on over to the balloon! The balloon's all ready, sir! Just jump on! This balloon will take you to the Great Tiki Lodge in the sky. Just jump on when you're ready! Hop in the balloon whenever you want, Spyro! I guess you just hop in the balloon now. Don't ask me how it works. I just showed up for the punch and cookies. <laughs> this balloon will take you to a land closer to the sorcerer, Spyro. You can also use it to come back here whenever you want to. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster. And eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay, let's see what we got here. This ought to do it. You, come here. <laughs> When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. <laughs>
Okay, Dragon, you've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it? I'll see you in there later.
When you see a ladder or walls that look climbable, just jump onto it and you'll grab it with your claws. This is a super flame power-up. You'll find more just like it scattered throughout all the worlds. Why don't you try this one out by using it to break all these planters? I think I... My good friend Spyro, the sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done, and, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Sergeant Bird, 9068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? The, uh, because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. For this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! <laughs> I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. 
Press the circle button to shoot these targets. You can also move quickly by charging like Spyro. To charge, hold down the square button. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down the L1 or R1 button. Then move with the analog stick or directional button. Try sliding up and down to hit the targets in this room. On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose the Help option from the Pause menu.
Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. <laughs> I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. Shot the ice block, eh? Must be beginner's luck.
<laughs> I put up ice blocks this morning so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. Oh, by the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want. Right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on Earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. Well, step right in. The show's about to start. Tonight is my big ice dance performance, and these hockey players are ruining it. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Some courageous and strong and handsome and purple who breathes fire. Will you please help me perform my ice dance? These mean Reinick hockey players keep hogging the ice, and all I want to do is dance. Thanks, let's go! my best performance ever. I guess one of the judges didn't like it, though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it?
I have to train the hummingbirds. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceress. Sir, the situation is this. Yesterday, at 18.45 hours, the Rhinox invaded. We defended as best we could, sir, but without your leadership, we didn't put up an effective resistance. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured and the Rhinox had complete control of the base. Thank you, sir. the enemy Russians. They won't march far on an empty stomach. <laughs> Sir, the Rhinox have blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. Recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure-sensitive security switches either side of the door. When in position, press the square button to drop the weight. Press the triangle button once to look down. Press it again to look up, sir. Permission to cheer, sir. Hippie pourri!
mission accomplished. It's great to have you back, sir. Reporting for duty, sir. your order, sir.
Before I was captured, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. Would you like me to show you? Cloud of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? Ha! Huh, I'll deal with you later. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? That gator was mean. I thought I was a gunner. Thanks for saving me.
This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. Brave dragon, much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. When all lamps are lit, there is a secret in here that I will show you. Stop talking to me. I hate speaking in haiku. Just go find some gems. The tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in this house. A creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light. He has awoken. He swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. Better you than me.
This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. <laughs> the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the pass for us. Will Sheila help us? Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. One egg cage remains. Will you now help my brother to free the last egg? If you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. <laughs> The eggs are all free. Two dragons are born today. Sheila's my hero. <laughs>
Cairo. Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it.
Help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields, but rotten rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the rhinox, oh, but not my friends. <laughs> this shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favourite hill. Hey! I think I saw some Rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg.
baby. Spyro, you're not gonna believe this, but there are sheep saucers and space cows all over this place. We gotta stop them before they abduct anybody. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Look out, cows! Here I come! <laughs> We got the last one just before he abducted this egg. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then, after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you ask me, the statue is much prettier than she is.
awaits my brilliant four-dimensional masterpiece. Just light all the lights and prepare to be amazed by my genius. God, I hid this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, you can score huge points in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Let's start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the X button. I'll show you how to do it once, then it's your turn. Okay, now try doing a roll. You can roll in midair by holding down the triangle button and steering left or right. Ha! 
Hey, nice roll! Now let's see you pull a flip. Flips are exactly like rolls, only you push up or down instead of left or right. Just jump off the ramp, hold down the triangle button, and push up or down on the directional pad. Whoa, you must be a natural. Now let's see if you can pull off a half pipe spin move. The blue ramps are half pipes. You can do a spin move by jumping at the top of the blue ramp, then steering left or right in the air. All right, you nailed it. Now let's see if you can do a 900. Get as much height as you can, spin two and a half revolutions in the air, and land back on the ramp. Now that was a 900. I have to admit, you've got some skills, Spyro. But before you get too cocky, let's see if you can score some real points on that giant ski ramp. Do whatever moves you want and see how many points you can get. Wow, you learn really fast. Then again, you are being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing a nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. I had almost pulled it off when I suddenly ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can have this egg. I'm thinking you're ready to try some one-on-one -on -one competition. Want to try a freestyle competition for points? All right, whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. believe it. How did you get so good already? Who knows, someday you might even break my course record. 
Nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was going to keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck! I was playing catch with my pet wolf, Farley, but I accidentally threw his ball down this hole and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there. I feel so helpless, sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf.
Hey, you found Farley. How can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh, well, it's the thought that counts, right? I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to. It's good to be back in action! You're doing great. Please find the rest of the bones so we can put my friend back together. this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. <laughs> my friend is feeling much better now. Oh no! He started his bone dance again! <laughs>
Hey now, let's head on over to the Whirly Gig. You can use the Whirly Gig whenever you are ready. Just hop on, Spyro. The sky shall be your domain. New worlds await you. Hop aboard! The Whirly Gig is ready to take you far away. Just jump aboard! All systems checked out A-OK. -okay. Jump aboard! You bumbling, idiotic, worthless fool! I ask you to carry out one simple task, and you fail me! I should have known better than to rely on a child. But... Don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. These eggs can't be worth all this trouble. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever so slim chance of becoming a sorceress! Now, watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. How would you like some dragon for lunch? <laughs> My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight! <laughs> Listen to me, dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! Just go!
again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. <laughs> The sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <coughs> <coughs> One more, perhaps? At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. and Sparks, I found another lost egg. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town.
excellent work, Sparks. And I see that you've gained another new ability. Now, if you hold down the L1, L2, R1, and R2 buttons at the same time, Sparks will point to any treasure still hanging around. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro, but first I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. <laughs> Hey, bro, it'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. If you use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. <laughs> Another gong! Great! I bet we could cause an avalanche with this one! <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection.
Look out, Spyro! There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me! I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge! You wait here. I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay, here I go. Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look, I didn't even drop the egg. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. <laughs> Spyro, if we don't get to the castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Azrael. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to. You know, come to think of it, the wizards only agreed to raise the steps. They never said they wouldn't lower them again. <laughs> Those guys are pretty clever, aren't they? Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess. According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Grow seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. <laughs>
I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seeds? Last, I found the legendary golden goose. You can have another one of its eggs for a souvenir. Princess Rael run into the castle. We have to stop him before he reaches the princess.
Spyro. Isn't Prince Asriel just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Asriel says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Hey, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, she's just a friend, you understand. It's a strictly platonic relationship. It's certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. <clears throat> what? What are you giving me that look for? Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. <laughs> So, I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. I 
I must admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few riches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turned the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, be careful, okay? You did it, James. I knew you weren't the leader of the Hummingbird Resistance Movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake me pick at. Darn shame, too, because I was mighty close to finding me treasure. <laughs>
look at that. Some fool hid a dang gum egg in me treasure. <laughs> These here waters used to be my favorite diving spot. Uh, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Alrighty then. I'll press the X button to speed on up. And when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the circle button. <laughs> You got some mean sub driving skills. Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Well, I, I hate to ask your help again, but there be even more subs that darn come out of nowheres. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. Darn tootin'! Get on, little dragon! <laughs>
Yes, the acid lake is safe for swimming again. <laughs> I wish I could reward you better, but all I got's left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one.
Pyro, you're just in time. A Rhinox skateboard gang has challenged us to a race. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you, though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Right on! You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the square button. Good luck! <laughs> like a bunch of dizzy one-toed sand norks. Oh yeah, I guess we won this egg too. <laughs> Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a shot? All right! Eat my skate dust, sucker! <laughs> I can't believe you beat me. You must have been practicing the whole time I thought you were looking for eggs. Hey, 
Speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding this one. You might be able to beat me at skateboarding, but I still get all the chicks. Good to see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. <laughs>
like you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind. <laughs> see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way round through all these Winox to get to it.
It looks like the sorceress has already used the plans to build her own rocket. We have to destroy it. Just follow me. It. They must have been trying to put it into orbit. If you see Handel, tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the professor's rocket. power up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time.
Spyro. I'm helping a kid called Handle recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know, I'm always ready to kick some Rhinoc booty. <laughs> Hi, Agent Knight. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the circle button to shoot and use L1 and R1 to dodge left and right.
for rescuing me. You better look after this egg before the Winox try to blow that up, too. you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes. This was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry, I can't. Welcome to Frozen Altar, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Some bear sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox, but with these flippers I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it, though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the triangle button and you'll walk back out. Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then they've been stomping around building ice walls and generally causing trouble.
it would be easy to get up to that treasure if he had something to stand on. Spyro, I've just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with the Yeti. That dumb Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. I know you'd do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his eye punches and hit him low when he tries to block. showed him. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't my ball. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. This time it'll be a free round match and when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great.
in my ball? It's just another stupid egg! Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy-weensy markup. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. <laughs> I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper during training. Would you mind taking my place? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. Done. I think you deserve to keep the Champions Cup. 
The rocket's fueled up and ready to go, Spyro. I guess this hunk of junk is supposed to fly. <laughs> sure glad I ain't the one getting on. Hop on, Spyro. Don't worry. Fairy engineering has never failed. Hop aboard, Spyro, and boldly go where no dragon has gone before. Well, at least not in a thousand years, at any rate. That's it. I've had enough. I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. Yes, yes, it will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them. Oh, yes, smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crease them. But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> well, that doesn't matter, as long as I can still collect their wings. What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell, so I can live forever! Uh, uh, wait, wait a second, a, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes! This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavour to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles.
Bianca, did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> Spyro, I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? Spyro, you found enough of the dragon eggs for me to unlock the portal. Once I've opened it, you can confront the sorceress whenever you're ready. But be careful, she'll be expecting you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, well, Spyro, look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. <laughs> You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out, could there? <laughs> Though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, huzzah, yippee, woo Wish I could stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon, know what I mean? You bet. Later! showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She says there's an egg hidden in there. I think Spark should check it out.
When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. What was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc! Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Ah, next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinox. Mm. Well, gotta go, Mr. Laser Blaster, and I have a whole lot of work to do. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the whole island. Perhaps you could stop them before they destroy all my research. number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they come out. Indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Cleared them out! Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Just as I thought. 
The machine room is overrun with birds. To target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then, zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. <laughs> Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. What do you think? Now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in there. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. <laughs> By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot! <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Uh, now I can resume thinking. Spyro, don't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it, it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. <laughs> Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully. As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve. Nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
All this magic is just misdirection, you know. Which is why I'm going to start that whirlwind over there. Abra Cadabra. <laughs> Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the, uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I need a small donation first for my expenses, you understand. Very good. Uh, let's see. Hocus pocus, ziggledy zen, make this bridge get long again. I suppose I could show you my new trick. As long as you promise not to tell the great Zamboni. He steals all my best work. Alakazam! <laughs> Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but my magic just keeps bouncing off. Good evening, Spyro. The amazing Randini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard that it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. <laughs>
I'm afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. They need a good bonk on the head to calm them down, and you look like just the man to help. A light tap on the head should sort them out, but watch out for my friends. They're trying to burrow after them. Well done! And look, one of my friends dug up this whilst chasing the moles. Oh, 
Hello, you must be Spyro. A lot of people are talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend, Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, and I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but you know there's all these scorpions and stuff. <laughs> Hi Spyro, haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? <laughs>
Spyro. I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem. But uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Very well, then. The password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible! Look at you, showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work. I spend all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, might as well have it. Only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway. I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers. Want to ride him and try blasting some sharks? Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition.
Nice shooting, comrade. Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. Yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls a golden treasure is hid. What am I?
The first round of the annual Demolition Hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? Very impressive. That is correct. Good luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. That was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. You may now enter the championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? My, my! Such a brave reptile you are! But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship.
A battle for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. <laughs> You've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Hmm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well. A bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. I've waited 7,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now, I can finally head off to Seashell Shore to bury some bones. Those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. <laughs> Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door 
unless you are able to solve my riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go, but the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. My, my, you're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. You may proceed to the first trial.
these flying sheep saucers keep coming from. I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with him as long as I can make it through the rings. I'm gonna chase him down. I'll be right back. was close. The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed. Darn it, Spyro! I came in here to check on my prisoner, only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble, and there's not a thing I can do about it. <laughs>
Well, I'll be. So that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the run of the litter, though. Jumping Jehoshaphat! That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. One of them dinosaurs threw an egg down this flooded mine shaft. I'd get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. <laughs> That was some mighty fine swimming, young dragon. The sheriff promised me I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs. <laughs> If you just calm down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I can tell you what's going on. The Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to just go in there and flush them out. Well, good luck to you.
know why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. Sorceress, but...
defeated the sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon world. What do you plan to do next? Hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in Dragon Shores? Hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Huh? Me? Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. By a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Alora, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with... Uh, ahem. Uh, Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoc! Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoc boy? Eat laser punk! Come on now, no fair hiding. Uh, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. But I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. I promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Now, how many times have I told you not to tease that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Hey, <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt. She built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight Sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him.
egg must have had some extra magic because it gave Sparks two new abilities. Now he can break open treasure chests, and using the atlas, he can warp you to any level. Just select the level you want and press the square button. Don't worry, Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back in Avalar. Uh, uh-oh, uh, why are you looking at me like that? I, uh, uh, I, I've got to be going now. Uh, toodles! Drat. Drat, 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 Oh, I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it, I give up. I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. finally made it, Spyro. Hunter was a little worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure, but after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. If you can catch the thieves, you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. <laughs>
Hi, Spyro. Did you see Bianca? She was really worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress. It was pretty funny. She tries to play it cool, but she was scared stiff until you came back safe. I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Why don't you try taking it for a spin? Great! Hop aboard! <laughs> Check it out. This is the world's fastest turbo snowboard course. The local champions are the Sasquatch Six, a gang of yetis on souped up snow discs. I bet that you could outrace the lot of them. If you win, we get a huge pile of treasure. If you lose, I have to slick down the whole course with my tongue. So, ready to race? Right on! Just don't lose, or my tongue's gonna be a popsicle.
You schooled them like a bunch of frost-bitten, flat-footed, molasses-eating, lead-pants-wearing, cross-eyed glacier trolls riding slabs of plywood with sandpaper on the bottom! And we want some shiny stuff, too. She did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Your best chance to defeat her is to borrow my flying saucer. I've cast some spells on it to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time, but the rest is going to be up to you. 
You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her.
Thank you.